morning, everybody. Lewis here, R Shack Barbecue and other things. Today, a little different video. I'm actually uh, doing this intro uh, a few days after the actual cook. But the uh, cook that I did was a whole hog. It was an 80 pound hog uh, that I got from my meat supplier. And I've never done a whole hog before, uh, but I wanted to try it. And we're going to start offering it uh, for through our catering business if someone wants one. So I figured I better learn how to do it. Uh, as you know, I bought that Smoke Daddy uh, rotisserie hog cooker uh, last year. Uh, there's a video somewhere in the playlist uh, talking about that Smoke Daddy and doing an unboxing and stuff. So you might want to go watch that. It actually did pretty well. Uh, so this video uh, i'm not going to talk too much during the process because it was my first one but i'm going to kind of show you everything i did and then put it on the rotisserie and uh, have it come uh, shred it so you can see how all that's done so enjoy this video it's going to be uh, kind of interesting regulators mount up
Ooh. All right, so there it was, uh, my whole hog. And uh, let me tell you what a uh, few things that I learned. Uh, it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. And uh, it actually uh, shredded and broke down really, really nice. Uh, one of the things that I will do next time is I won't mop the barbecue sauce on it. I will just uh, use apple cider vinegar, a mixture of apple cider vinegar and water and keep spritzing it. Might even do that in a mop style, uh, depending on how I feel. Uh, but what I've found is that the barbecue sauce, the sugars in it, when I started mopping, it actually burnt the skin. It wasn't, it came out, you know, darker than I was hoping, but it didn't affect that meat at all. Uh, the meat was perfect. It's just the outer layer uh, got awfully dark. So next time I won't mop it with the barbecue sauce. I will just spritz it with apple cider vinegar and water mixture 50-50. And then maybe at the very end when it's getting done at temp times, because I kept temping it, uh, then I'll start mopping it so that barbecue sauce kind of glazes the skin. But other than that, uh, this came out beautiful. I would say uh, probably somewhere around 45 to 50 pounds of shredded meat is what I got off that 80 pound uh, pig. And uh, we have a couple of events that we're gonna be doing whole hogs for uh, this summer. So I needed to really get in there and understand and make sure that I could do it. And it wasn't that hard, actually. It actually went real well. Uh, the hog that I get is pretty well ready just to put on the spit and uh, load it up in the smoker. So the other thing um, that I'll do is I won't put in quite as much charcoal. Uh, we got that thing running anywhere. We got that uh, smoker running in between 270 to 300 at times. So a little heavy on the heat. Uh, I wanted to run 250 to 270 uh, and it got up over uh, the 270 mark pretty much through the whole cook. So I got to work on that. I got to fine tune that. But uh, other than that, the thing ran beautiful. That hog, uh, you know, the rotisserie, <laughs> it was really, really impressive. So anyhow, like I always say, thank you for watching. You could do this too. Yeah. On a scale of uh, 1 to 10, the difficulty, I give this about a 7. Uh, but uh, once you get in there and start doing it a few times, it'll be uh, much easier. So, till next time, my friends. Real.